Hi everybody. I've just come into Blackpool, which is a very rare occurrence for me. Um, but I thought I'd kill two birds with one stone. There's a couple of things that I'd like from Primark. And also, I, um, I've got those, uh, that leisure wear to take back to next, you know, so, cause the tops weren't long enough for me. So I thought I'd get it all done in one go. And also, there's a new store opened here. Um, so I might have a look around there. I'll, I'll show it you if, um, it's called flannels. Uh, now I've been to the flannels in Liverpool and it was very, very expensive. So I don't know what this one will be like, but I do believe there's a Wallace and things like that in there. So we'll have to see. So I'm on the car park now. So I'll just get out of the car and go down into the shopping centre. Bye bye. Now over there is Blackpool Tower. Can you see it's over there? Can I show you? Um, and then next to it is the old Woolworths building. Can you see it's quite Art Deco, isn't it? Blackpool, the centre of Blackpool's under quite a bit of redevelopment at the moment. They're putting a big cinema in and um, all sorts of things. Um, so we'll have to see how it gets on. Right, I'll speak to you again in a minute. Another look at the beautiful tower. Yeah, I think it's about half the size of um, the Eiffel Tower. It's designed on the Eiffel Tower. Pretty tall. Right, I've had to do a voiceover on this because um, as usual, there's music playing in the shops and we're not allowed to show it on YouTube um, because we could get copyright claims. Um, this is the Hounds Hill Shopping Centre, which is the main shopping centre um, in Blackpool. Uh, there's quite a few nice shops. Uh, I've just been in next to try and uh, return the items. And unfortunately, the tills are all down, so they couldn't have to um, exchange them. So that was a wasted journey. So I'm just walking down to the new uh, three. Well, it looks like three new shops. I thought it was going to be one big one. This is the old Debenhams. And there's a Flannels, a Sports Direct and a Fraser's. Um, now, I've been to the Flannels in Liverpool and it's a very, very expensive store. So I'm not sure how it will go in Blackpool. Um, but anyway, we'll pop in and have a look. It does look expensive. There seems to be people walking around, but I can't see anybody actually buying anything. It's early days, so though. It's not been, it's only opened this week, I think. You can tell it's an expensive store. It's got a security guard on the door. Right, I'm going out into the centre again. And just take a look at the next store. I'm not interested in uh, Sports Direct. Uh, just This is Fraser's. I'll just peep in there. I wonder if it's like House of Fraser's. It must be. No, I don't think there'll be anything in there that I particularly want to see. Right, I'm just going past New Look now. Look at these shoes. Aren't they amazing? Oh, to be able to wear those, to be young again. Now I'm in Primark. Uh, I love these bags. This is the Rita Ora collection. I love these bags, but I don't know when I would wear it. I think they were £18. But very stylish. And then all the sparkly, the lots of sequined um, clothes there. Um, and jackets, trousers, all sorts. They were beautiful. Primark is really up their game. Lots of different colour faux jackets, faux leather jackets. More sequin stuff in all those beautiful jewel colours, aren't they nice? Now I thought these were nice. They were they were like did skirts, dresses, and jackets all matching. Lovely if you you know for work if you work in an office or something. 
Um, I thought they were very nice. I think the jackets were about £35 and they got accessories in the same colourways to match. Very, very nice they were. They had them in various colours, as you can see. I prefer the green, but the blue was nice as well. And this one's really nice, like a tartan effect. Oh, Bugs Bunny, <laughs> a little Bugs Bunny Christmas deck. Now, these are the Christmas jumper section. I don't need a Christmas jumper, but if I was to buy one, I'd probably choose this black one here. I may look out for another jumper in the sale. I am a bit Christmas jumper obsessed. I think you either like them or you don't. Christmas pyjamas. They had lots of different matching family pyjamas. Now, this is a makeup that I bought, uh, which I think is a dupe for the Estee Lauder double wear. But the beauty of all the Primark makeup is it's all cruelty free. And I do rate their makeup. Uh, I think the lipsticks are good. I like the face makeup. Um, oh, that's a bit like, um, oh, I can't think what it's called now. Another cream, obviously a dupe for it. That's a bronzer. All the lipsticks, they're ever so good and ever so reasonable. I think most of them are only around about a pound. I thought this set was lovely and I, it reminded me of the Charlotte Tilbury one and it was seven pounds, so it's a nice gift for seven pounds. Over to the hair products. They really do have everything, don't they? Oh, that's a backcombing brush. I actually bought it. And I do like their dry shampoo. So I put one of those in my basket as well. You know, I spent hours on this video. I um I edited it all yesterday. <coughs> Excuse me, and uploaded it. Tried to upload it, and it wouldn't upload. Oh, these are the pajamas, aren't they nice? They're very much like the Chelsea Piers ones. I think they were about eleven pounds. No, I try. It wouldn't export. It wouldn't upload. So I've had to delete it and start again because I try. Oh, I must have tried to upload it. Lots and lots of times. I just hope this one will upload. I kept deleting big thinking something was corrupted. Deleting things from my phone because I thought, is my phone overloaded? Anyway, let's hope this one loads. I wasn't too keen on that colour. But I did like the pink with the um, leopards on. This is more of the Rita Ora collection. Aren't those boots fab if you're young? Not for me, of course, but for the young ones, absolutely amazing. The bags again that I liked. Look at those shoes, they're gorgeous. You would think they were designer shoes, wouldn't you? Right on to some Christmas things. There's lots of Christmas bedding. This Christmas bedding is really nice. But it's a bit extravagant just having bedding for Christmas. I know it's lovely.
The throws were nice as well. This bedding is very similar to some in Next, and I love the red faux fur throw over it. It looks lovely, very Christmassy. Isn't it lovely? Well, that was horrendous. I now know why I much prefer to shop online from my city or my bed. Oh, the queues at the tills were ridiculous. Honestly, everything was messed up. Um, and I mean, the staff there are so good trying to fold everything up. Then uh, I went, I told you I went to next and the tills were down. So you, I couldn't take anything back, which I wanted to take these um, two sets back. Um, and you could only pay in cash, so lots of people were getting to the tills and they could only pay in cash. And obviously you don't carry a lot of cash around nowadays, do you really? So, oh look at that, oh, you can see as I turn around. They've got like, um, on the building over there, I don't think you can see, there's like a, a roundabout, like um, a funfair thing, you know. I wouldn't want to go on that. Right, so when I went in Primark, then they said their tills, were, they were having difficulty with their tills. So, and then when I was in Poulton, none of the cash machines were working. So, is this a way for things to come or is this a cyber attack or what? to get home. I've been going to make this beetroot relish all week and um, video it. Uh, well like a beetroot um, chutney you know. I've got all this stuff to do it so I must try and do it this afternoon. This is the winter gardens ahead of us. They're redoing a lot of that as well. There's a lot of redevelopment going on in the centre of Blackpool. It seems to have been going on for years. I did think I'd try and take you at the promenade because there's like, um, I don't know, Christmas. I don't know there's a market or what. Some sort of Christmas special thing on with, for the children, you know. <coughs> but most of the roads are one way and I can't get that way so it'll have to be another time it's so run down around this area it's such a shame all the shops are closed lots of them are the redevelopment it'll be a lot better these are like all guest houses in little mini hotels and that you know to get a sandwich and a coffee and then I thought oh I think I'd rather just go home
plotting to get rid of this tickly cough. from the COVID. side was the old bus station. It's now a big old you can eat buffet. <coughs> oh look we're getting a Marcos. Let the lady cross the road. Oh Marco Pierre White. It, so it's obviously going to be some sort. This is part of the redevelopment. It's needed. A lot of it's very run down. station we're going past now. to end this video here uh, because I've had a lot of problems uploading it I was adding some footage from Middlebrook but I'll put that on another uh, video I hope you've enjoyed it uh, just a little trip around Blackpool and Primark and um, if you've not subscribed and you'd like to I'd love you to subscribe it really helps me out um, or tick the like button if you've liked it